Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I filmed the video. I think a couple of years. I don't remember when. It was in a, not even in the same house, so it's been a while. Uh, but now, at the moment, I have a, have time um, since I'm not working at the moment and. I'm enjoying my time with my little uh, baby that was born recently. Uh, but when he's asleep, I have time, so I decided to uh, try and film, film some things because I... How to say it? I do miss it a little bit. And I definitely miss talking about makeup. So that's why I'm filming videos. I don't care how many people watch or if it's really... A topic that is trending or whatever. I just want to talk about what I get, what I'm liking, uh, or when I'm trying new things, what I think about it. So that's that. Um, we are in this video talking about a very colorful palette, the Garden Busters palette from By Us, uh, which I think is a very funny name. It's a bit weird to say this palette is made by us, because it's not made by me, but by the company by us. So it's a little bit uh, bizarre, to be honest. Uh, not a name I would have chosen myself, but even though it is screaming, I do like the packaging. It is very bordering childish, but I love the colors. Uh, I think it's quite funny to have like a sweating onion and uh, vegetables in distress. So that's that. Uh, so fun packaging. I've heard a lot of comments on the thickness of the palette. It is quite thick. Personally, it doesn't bother me, but that's uh, yeah something to maybe take into account if it's really something that would bother you. Uh, then on the inside, you do get a weirdly shaped mirror, which looks like that. What are you seeing? Are you seeing my camera? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then the colors itself, they look like this. I did some swatches on Instagram, but to be honest, check the swatches on their Instagram. They are very true to what you are getting. Um, so I would suggest to go look there. I'm not going to swatch everything here. Um, and I also want to tell you, I did already do a look and I filmed it. But I rambled a lot in the video, so I'm not sure if I will do anything with that video. Um, but what I did, very simple, uh, I will just explain it here. Just so you know, I applied some cream uh, colored base from uh, the Nessa Myrix all over the eyelid. And then I used the brown shade Soil also all over the eyelid. And then I put on top the Shimmer Orange C, which you can see has a huge dip in it. Um, I hope you can see at least. Yeah. Uh, I used it only once, so you really dig holes in the shadows with your uh, brushes. Uh, since the shimmers are really creamy in texture. Um, yeah, it's something different. I don't really mind it, but it's not my favorite. Uh, but um, overall the shimmers look nice. And then uh, what else did I do? I did put the blue in my inner corner, but it turned out to be too dark, so I lightened it up with this cream matte uh, shade as well. Uh, and that was a look, and it was very easy, um, easy to work with. Uh, the brown was nice, all the mattes were nice, the shimmer was good. Um, and for me, it's something very easy. I feel like I can do a matte brown smoky eye and put any of these shimmers on top and be happy with it. So that's um, that was the main goal for me to test how the shimmers looked on top of that brown and how dark I was able to go. But then for today I uh, want to do something else <laughs> at least but I am going to use the purple this time and then the greens uh, and then we see where we will end up. So. Maybe let me zoom you guys in. There we go, very close and personal. I hope the light is acceptable, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let's start off this look and I will just take the purple mat uh, into the crease uh, with a fluffy brush. Mm, 
it's been a very long time since I filmed, so it could be that some things are out of focus, um, for which I apologize already in advance, because I see the thing focusing on my eye. Uh, but we, we shall see, and I will learn. So, the purple, let's go. So, so far so good. I'm building it up, but um, as you can hopefully see, it is nice, the, the pigment is there, blending goes easy. I will apply it underneath the eye as well, generously. So far all the mattes I've used and touched I really enjoy, uh, except maybe for the yellow, because the yellow is not very pigmented. Uh, so that one, oh, I think if you really want it to show up as true to color as possible, that you would need to add uh, a white underneath, a white cream base. So that's the purple done. Uh, so far, no fallout, the blending was easy, the color is there, it is really pigmented. I do. I am quite impressed by this purple, so it was very easy to use, to build up. What I'm going to do is just take a little bit of blue, just a little bit, and apply it um, um, in the inner half of my crease, connecting with the purple, just because I can. And there we go, that's the blue done. And then I am going to deepen up the outer part with the brown. I just want to also check how all of these mats layer and so far so good. But I think I thought um, I would really need the brown to deepen it up. But to be honest, the purple itself is already very strong, so uh, I think it doesn't make a lot of difference. No. But then, then I'm going to use one of the shimmers, and the shimmer I'm going to use is the green one, Melon, which has a peachy shift. Yeah. Yeah. First I'm going to use it dry, and I'm really just swiping on top of the shadow. I think that's the most effective way to pick it up, but then you are just digging a very deep hole as well. So <laughs> it looks a little, a little bit odd and it's not how I usually pick up colors. Hey. I'm seeing a lot of the peach showing up at the moment. And the, the shimmers are also very uh, translucent, so the base color isn't very strong, which I don't mind. Uh, if you want more of the green to show through, I would suggest putting a, a green shadow or a green cream uh, base. Uh, but it also makes this very colorful palette uh, versatile and you can combine it with more neutral uh, neutral looks as well without the green being uh, uh, screaming uh, in your face. Yeah. I don't know what color you see on camera but I mainly see the peach reflecting. It depends a bit on the light. But then my idea was to put the green in the inner corner. Uh, but just to make sure that I think it's a good idea, I will uh, first apply it uh, on the bottom here. <laughs> it's like less of a uh, risky placement. Yeah, 
the green, the matte green is really nice. I will put it in my inner corner as well. The green is very nice, just see. I'm just going to put a little bit of blue in between the purple and the green just to make them flow together a bit nicer. So there you go, that's the finished look. Um, I will put on some mascara, just let me check if I want to put any finishing touches. Maybe I'll put some of the cream. Yeah, let me do that, the cream uh, shade underneath my brows and then just give it a final blend around the edges all right uh, let me put on mascara and i will come back and give you my final thoughts on this palette all right mascara is applied and uh, now for my final thoughts um, let's start with the mattes. I've used um, most of them except the yellow and the orange, uh, but I already told you uh, what I think about the yellow. So the yellow definitely needs uh, a white base or a yellow base underneath to really show up as a, as a bright, uh, bright yellow. The orange I haven't used yet, but um, I swatched it and it felt nice well performing so there i think you uh, can expect what you see uh, overall i especially enjoyed the brown the green and the purple those are really uh, well performing matte shadows so that was a very nice surprise but then for the sh for the shimmers i will be a little bit more uh, tough uh, i think um, one two things the base color isn't very strong, so you have a nice shimmering shadow which is very versatile, which you can use to make, create more neutral looks or you can combine it with a very colorful look uh, like I did, I did today. But I used green shimmer on, on my eyes, it looks very green in the, in the pan, but you do see mostly the peach shift uh, in it. And uh, I found yesterday, uh, when, I was, when I was playing around with this palette as well, that if you combine two shimmer shades that are close together in colors, that you can't see the difference. So um, I think you can combine, uh, for example, like uh, a shade like Sunny with then uh, a darker shimmer and distinguish between the two if you place them next to each other. But I wouldn't go, um, for example, P, put P next to orange uh, C, it won't make enough of a difference. So that's because of the base shade, which isn't always showing through as much. But uh, yeah, overall I enjoy it. I think it's a very versatile palette, even though it looks very bright, you can also definitely tone it down. I mean the mattes you cannot tone down. I mean a uh, bright purple is a bright purple there. But the shimmers are definitely very very versatile and I think the brown also helps with uh, with that. And the, the last thing I wanted to mention is, um, just for a reference, the shimmers, shimmers remind me of the ones that are in the Urban Decay stoned palette, which I I had in my collection, collection but I uh, actually decluttered it, but I took it out again. Uh, I mean, when I declutter, I put things in a box and not use them, but the box is still there. So um, there I found as well, if you looked at the neutral shades, that it didn't matter which one you put on your eyes, they all look the same. So in that uh, point of view, they are similar. I think the formulation is similar as well. They even look a little bit similar. Um, so. If you have that one, then you can also s see if this formulation is something for you. <sighs> so, that was that. First video in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. Um, and I also hope um, I presented this palette well to you. 
Uh, it is a new brand, so this is this is their first release, and I'm quite curious to see uh, where where they will be going. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.